Now new at five, minutes before handing over $4,000 to a scammer, one woman realized her mistake. Consumer advisor Clark Howard warns the IRS phone scams alive and well and coming after your money. The phone call Ada Garcia received a few weeks ago is one she'll never forget. She tells me, you have a debt, uh, there's going to be a marshal coming to your house in 20 minutes. The caller claimed Ada owed more than $4,000 to the IRS. I said, I don't owe money to nobody. You're scaring me. But the woman insisted, and Ada panicked. They have a way to control you that you believe they are going to be arrested. She called her daughter and asked her to deposit the money into her bank account. The entire time, the woman told Ada she needed to keep her on the phone. She's like, you have to have me on speakerphone. You can't have me on mute. I have to hear that you're driving. Ada was given a routing number and bank account to deposit the cash in. Thankfully, once Ada got to the bank, the teller was suspicious and wouldn't deposit the money. The teller at one point told me, it's a fraud. It's nothing. It's nothing is happening, Miss Ada. Ada is thankful for that teller and wants others to know how convincing these scam artists are. I want people to please, if they have any kind of calls that they're not sure of, Hang up the phone. This is a problem that's a constant refrain at IRS service centers where people come in distraught as taxpayers. Know this, you're never going to get a threatening call from the IRS telling you you're going to jail unless you pay right then and there. It is a very, very successful scam. Don't let anybody con you and take your money. I'm Clark Howard.